Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. So we have seen here in the last few days some news around a potential supply shock because Cardano or Ada is running low on Binance, for example. I had a few questions in previous videos about will that have an impact on price? Now, I have to tell you it might do, but I don't think so necessarily. And the reason for that is that people have been talking at Cardano supply shock for weeks and months and years, no, not years maybe, but throughout 2021, people talked about an ADA supply shock. People talked about supply shocks for other cryptocurrencies and really, we haven't really seen a lot. People also talked about a short squeeze or supply shock for silver, um, for gold, for GameStop, you know, and we haven't really seen that. And, you know, all of that is oftentimes just talk um, to get views or whatever, clickbait, we need to be honest, right? Because the market moves in waves. I haven't seen, you know, any any of that. And we need to be honest because in a in the last and I haven't looked up the data again, but in the last uh, major Bitcoin bear market, um, a lot of the hodlers have kept holding on to their Bitcoin. You know, there were there weren't many Bitcoin available on the markets, but the buyers were just not there. So of course, as soon as the buyers come in, and if not a lot of uh, a, a lot of an asset is available on the market of course you see the prices go up but that is what happens pretty much every time prices go up yeah we've seen that here here but is this really a so-called supply shock or isn't that just the normal waves that are happening anyway in financial markets so yeah I'm a bit skeptical about these news about supply shocks that is often to bring people to make people buy something because they start a panic it, it is the old game between fear and greed yeah. So people, <clears throat> the news come up, people make other people buy something. And, you know, I'm not really a big friend of that. I just want to make sure that you understand that the talks of a supply shock haven't really materialized in the past. Of course, we've seen prices go up, but this is based on the normal wave behavior in financial markets, ups and downs. That's what the Elliott waves measure as well. Sentiment shifts, totally normal. And of course, you see a price go up if there are more buyers than sellers and if there is less available on the market because less of the sellers want to sell, right? So or, or less of the holders want to sell. So yeah, I'm always skeptical about supply shock. These news are always spreading around for various assets. I have rarely seen this play out really. And if it plays out, it's often just the, the market moves. I mean, what we now expect anyway is at any point the turnaround for ADA because the, 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 you know, the, the correction, the minimum or the minimum requirements for this ABC correction, they are done anyway. We've been talking about that various times. Um, the way, as I always said in the last few videos as well, the way the price is currently coming down, in my opinion, there is still downside potential. Is it going to play out? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows where the low is. We have to be very honest about that. However, um, <clears throat> we know that, in my opinion, um, the correction is if it is still ongoing and i mean we can we can't really call this a breakout yet so in my opinion the correction is still going on so we are however in the last meters of the correction cardano has already corrected down let's take a look how much has it corrected down since the last all-time high and this by the way is true for many cryptocurrencies or all of them or most of them pretty much 70 percent and it did go down 75 percent to the low um, that we had here 75 cents now, at the moment, you know, we, we are pretty much in a sort of possible turnaround space here where the price could turn around and we are here possibly forming an inverse head and shoulders. And I'm very careful about how I draw this because if I draw it the wrong way, it looks a bit, um, you know, I'm not going to mention it. Um, inverse head and shoulders here and you have a neckline at 126. So for me, it is currently like as soon as you break out above 126, you've got a good chance to move to the next major resistance, which will be at 163. And in my opinion, only above 126, we can be more certain that the low was already in. Until then, there is still a lot of downside potential and we need to be very realistic about the potential that Cardano can drop lower and can even hit the 55 cent level, okay? So this is still very, very real. Um, therefore, at the moment, from my personal point of view, the best strategy, and that's what I do for Cardano, is to use dollar cost averaging in um, at the dips. Yeah, that is what I do. <clears throat> and then taking profits 
as soon as we have turned around and this potential supply shock supply shock is playing out now don't as i said don't really believe in the supply shock story it might play a role when the prices are going up anyway um, but then we have a lot of bullish news coming out about cardano you know the the the, uh, the blockchain is alive it's not really it, it's been going on it's it's not been taken down like other cryptocurrency blockchains um it's very stable we are gonna see the vasil hard fork while the ethereum upgrade has again been delayed i think the vasil hard fork date still stands that is a bullish for cardano because that means that in june when it's supposed to happen the focus will be on ada will be on cardano and the light will be on cardano and not be on ethereum so this sort of delay into q2 but i don't think we have a date yet for the ethereum upgrade it, it is still um yeah the, the date is still very much unclear and that that move is very bullish for cardano it's good news so for cardano at the moment in the short term i showed you this descending trend line now this has been broken so first of all the descend the ascending wedge breakout hit pretty much the price target so what you have when you break out as I always say you break out of a wedge the price target is typically the beginning of the wedge now i think we missed it by a cent but honestly i think it is it has played out so you have hit the price target of the um of the wedge we came down to 92.3 cents the absolute low here was 91.6 so that was pretty good um the price has now a potential opportunity to turn around again for now what we're making is just a lower high but we broke above that descending trend line and we might be retesting this now however and yeah so we are might be retesting now we did the retest and we might now be um building up for a breakout here so this looks pretty much cup and handle shape like it's a small one yeah so bear that in mind it's a small one but you form your cup here and a potential handle a so-called breakout build-up phase where you've got here a level of resistance oh, that was horrible where well, you have a level of resistance here um at around 95 cents okay so it's a bit dynamic anyway but at the moment it looks like we find resistance at 95 cents so if you see that breaking i think the next resistance that we're gonna see is here the 97 cent level that's a 61.8 percent fib level and then you can if you break above that you can move yeah i think to one dollar and one we've got various smaller resistance levels here so let's take a look um as i said first one would be 95 then 97 that is also first of all the 61.8 percent fib level so it's a very important resistance level but it's also here where the 50-day moving average is sitting so if you get the breakout above let's call it 95.5 cents yeah um if you see that you can move to 97 it's not a huge jump but therefore i think we need to be honest we are just still just below a very very important resistance level so personally i wouldn't trade this um however if you break above 97 cents and the 50-day moving average and get a retest done as well then there is a potential that we move all about all the way to one dollar and one and from here then we can take it further next major swing high would actually be around the one dollar and seven level yeah to this one so there's an opportunity especially as we broke out of the descending uh, trend line however the market is unpredictable it's it's good friday there are less traders in the market there is less investment there is less volume and therefore any breakout is to be seen um, with a careful uh, view yeah be careful um, things that seem like they break out they might not because it is good friday weekend markets are usually unpredict more unpredictable on the weekend and this is just short-term noise bear in mind as well yeah this is just short-term noise and at the moment we don't have the breakout anyway yet we are still below 95 and a half cents above that as i said next target 97 cents above that the price has a potential to move to one dollar and one and one dollar and seven generally though as i said as long as we are below the 126 level this is all just short-term noise also wanted to take another look at the ada btc chart um let's take a look here zooming out so what the price is doing here is sideways movement we are in this channel here between support and resistance between the 2000 level 
and the 2720 level. So these are the major levels that are restricting here Cardano at the moment, holding above the 50 day moving average for now and currently being outperformed by Bitcoin. Showed you in the last video on this chart here, the last three hard forks. And we see that in before every of these hard forks, Cardano massively outperformed Bitcoin. Um, next hard fork scheduled in June. And I showed you also here the 78.6% FIP level here in green between that and the 887 this is where you would usually expect the price in such a correction to go into. Let's see if that's actually gonna work out. But I think the price could already, as we have already broken the 61.8% FIP level, ADA could already start to outperform Bitcoin at any point. The Vasil hard fork isn't far away. And yeah, this correction has been going on for a while. We also see that, um, take a look at that on the daily here the negative momentum is already decreasing but it's still very very much in the beginning the MACD is just have, has only one light red bar now on the daily very very early days we see the stochastic RSI slightly going up in my opinion too early to say anything still in the bearish range on the daily so yeah I think we need to be a bit more patient here for the price to turn around we don't see the clear signals yet here on the four day it's losing positive momentum again so yeah, I'm not, um, we, we don't see the clear signals yet. I think we can be more certain that a breakout is happening or that might be a potential breakout point actually above this level, 2,730. That's a very important one. From here, you can, you have a potential then to move to the next one. Um, at least you need to get through the 200 day moving average first. So my view is generally on, on ADA and ADA BTC. There is still a lot of downside potential there are certain very important levels that we need to get above to confirm a breakout for ADA. That would be 126. Of course, you don't need to wait until then to buy. It's up to you. I already buy now because I'm dollar cost averaging in and I want to do what many people do, which is staking ADA as well. In fact, I want to, I'm working on opening a staking pool, but uh, what we can see certainly, and that might, um, that, that shows that more and more people in fact are staking ADA is here on the Cardano pool tool. You can see that 74% of ADA are now staked. I checked one of my videos from July last year, um, which showed that only 71% of ADA were staked. So you can see that out of the total supply, yeah, now 74% of ADA are staked, which is more than it was um, nine months ago. Yeah, not much more, but to be honest, it, it is going up still. So th this is good. And this actually confirms that there are less and less ADA on the exchanges. So all of this is really, really good news. I think for ADA, um, one of my favorite projects, not without reason, even though there are a lot of haters as always, don't really care. Um, Cause in the end you need to decide for yourself if you believe in a project or not. I do believe in this project. I believe in the team. Um, it is one of the most trustworthy projects out there, in my opinion. Yeah. And one of the projects where there's, um, you know, you often see projects, a lot of scandals, whatever. And for ADA, it's been, it's been quiet and they just get on with it. They get on with it. They've got a more academic approach, which sort of I like as well. And, um, yeah, we can see that the staking generally gets used more and more. All right. That's my ADA update for today. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership where you can get access to the weekly live stream. There is one on Sunday. You can get access to the Telegram chat groups and also a Discord, the Discord server with a lot of additional content and my own buy and sell orders as well. And make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional updates. And you can find the links for those in the description as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.